everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here to do my December in and out. So if you've not seen one of these videos, what I do is at the end of the month I tell you everything that I'm hauling for the month as well as everything that I'm unhauling for the month. So um, this month I am, am not too upset about what happened. Um, I'm hauling more than I'm unhauling, but not by a ton. And uh, I'm unhauling a good amount. So let's just get into it. Let's start with the unhauls. So these are all books that I either attempted to read or read off my shelves that I no longer need. Um, Kate Morton's The Distant Hours. This is one of my um, Vlogmas books that my sister sent me. It's in pristine condition, um, but I got a little bit into it and was not about this. So I'm going to put this on Pango because somebody will love it. It's just on me. Um, next is the two that I had in the Colleen Hoover Maybe Someday series. So I have Maybe Not and Maybe Now, which is number one and a half and two. Uh, did not like this series at all. So this, I love Colleen Hoover and I didn't like this, but I think this is her first series, her, like her debut. So, um, it was just lots of cheating, lots of not great stuff. It wasn't for me. Uh, next is The Secret She Keeps by Deb Coletti. Again, another one that I just couldn't get into. Like, I read it all. I just didn't really like it. And it was a weird concept about a divorce farm. Um, and it was just interesting. So, gonna let that one go. Uh, next, we have Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. This is a story of um, a World War II so soldier um, who was a like Olympic level runner prior to World War II. And then he becomes, he goes into the Air Force. Um, and it's his story. It's very uh, gruesome as well as kind of like, I mean, it's descriptive. It's gruesome. It's a lot. Um, this man's story is incredible, but the writing style itself kind of lost me. So there's that. Um, then we have Knit the Season by Kate Jacobs. This is the third in her Friday Night Knitting Club series. I really like the first. The second one's okay. This one just kind of went off the rails for me. So I might only keep the first, but for now I'm just unhauling this third one. And then last is Surviving Hitler, Evading Stalin. Um, this is a story of a woman in Germany um, during World War II. Around, um, like, so she now lives in uh, around the same area as my in-laws do in um, kind of south central Kansas. And so it's her story of, um, she was a teenager in World War II and in Germany. And her experience, um, both through, like, the German... Um, occupation Nazi stuff and then uh then when Russia came in afterwards so um yeah really it was interesting um it was interesting but it was kind of slow it was written by her and it says with Sherry Green and it was really confusing like who wrote this book because there's times that it's like first person and times that it's third person and so it was really unclear but this was it was I mean a interesting story for sure so those are all of my unhauls. Now let's get to my hauls. And you guys, I don't know about you guys, but December is the month that like equally flies by and never ends. Like I'm filming this on the 31st, go Chiefs. Um, and we'll see this. I'm, this isn't going to come out until after. So if the Chiefs lose, uh, just I'll just edit that part out maybe. But um, anyway, I so I hauled most of these at the beginning of the month. And I know summer book of the month Um some are a pango order. I'll tell you where I got one special one. But anyway, um, so let's just get into it. The first one is um, I Almost Forgot About You by Terry McMillan. This is a really thick mass market paperback. Like 530 pages, something like that. So um, this is, it says how Stella got her groove back in Waiting to Exhale. And I like love both those movies. Waiting to Exhale, I, I still play the soundtrack um, pretty frequently actually. So this is Dr. Georgia Young's great friends, family, and successful career aren't enough to keep her from feeling stuck and restless. When she decides to make some major changes in her life, she finds herself on a wild journey that may or may not include a second chance at love. Big hearted, genuine, and universal, I almost forgot about you shows what can happen when you take a chance and open yourself up to life, love, and new possibilities. So uh, sounds, sounds interesting. I have a baby at my legs and she's wearing uh, her sister's knee pads on her arms and... Uh, just trying to keep up with things. So hold on one second. Okay, next is uh, the girl who came, came the girl who came home by Hazel Gaynor. 
a novel of the Titanic. Titanic. So uh, I love the Titanic and like my sister gets on these obsessions and then I like follow along. And so um, when the t- Titanic movie came out, we were both like super obsessed. And I, I feel like she's read a lot of Titanic books. I, Elena, I don't know if you are watching this, but if you did, is that true? Um, this is 14 members uh, of a small village set in Ireland. Um, are set to set sail on the Titanic, hoping to find a better life in America. For 17-year-old Maggie Murphy, the journey is bittersweet. Though her future lies in an unknown place, her heart remains in Ireland with Seamus, um, the sweetheart she's left behind. When disaster strikes, Maggie's one of the few passengers in steerage to survive. Waking up alone in New York Hospital, she vows uh, never to speak of the terror and panic of that faithful night again. So that's Ireland in 1912. And then we have Chicago, 1982, adrift after the death of her father, Grace Butler struggles to decide what comes next. When her great grandmother, Maggie shares the painful secret about the Titanic, um, it's new revelations, reunions, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, sounds fascinating. I am really excited about this. Next is um, semi or Secrets of a Charm Life by I was semi charmed life. Uh, that's if you're a '90s kid, you might know. But uh, Susan Meisner, I honestly got this because it's Susan Meisner. I don't know anything about it. Um, present day Oxford, England, and 1940s England. Um, so present day young scholar is eager to pursue uh, pursue her vision of a perfect life. Um, she interviews Isabel McFarlane when the elderly woman is about to give up secrets about the war she's kept for decades, beginning with who she really is. Um, and then in 1940s, I'm guessing we're going to get that woman's story. But as Hitler wages an unprecedented war against London's civil, civilian population, more than a million children are evacuated to foster homes in the rural countryside. But even as 15-year-old Amy Downtree and her much younger sister Julia find refuge in a charming co- Cotswold cottage, Amy's burning ambition to return to the city and apprentice with a fashion designer pits her against Julia's profound need for her sister's presence. So um, actually, I just did a live show with my sister on the 29th or 30th. I'll have it linked down below. But um, we were talking about books that make us think of the other one. And I I, um, I think any like sister relationship books, but especially this one where it's like an older sister and a younger sister. Um, my sister and I are nine years apart. And so I feel like those stories always kind of hit home. And I don't know what the, the year is here. Um, but f- 15 and much younger. So I would guess I would guess this might be one that kind of strikes the chord for that reason. Um, next is the midwife of Auschwitz, two trigger words, like buzz, buzz, buzzwords, I guess for me, um, midwife and Auschwitz. I am so intrigued by both of those things. Um, so this is Auschwitz 1943 and it's inspired by a true story. Um, it tells a woman, one woman's fight for love, life, and hope during a time of unimaginable darkness. So, um, so and oh, this is so interesting. It it's the main character's name is Anna Kaminsky. So one of one of the places I or the place I got this, I guess, is my friend and I went to um, a bookstore in a town like 30, 40 minutes from us that I had a bunch of credit to. Just so happened, and um, this is where I got this because it's got my friend's name, Anna Kaminsky. I know an Anna Kaminsky. Like, what are the odds of that? Um, but so she, it's about, I held the, the tiny baby in my arms. My fingers traced the black tattoo edged across her little thigh. And I prayed that one day this set of numbers identical to her mother's would have the power to reunite a family torn apart by war. That's all I want to know. I like, this is going to be heavy and hard and, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot, but interesting. Um, next is the time of my life by Cecilia Hearn. I really like Cecilia Hearn. Um, she wrote PS I love you and all that. Um, but let's see, this is another big one, big one, uh, 486 pages. So woof. Um, but this is dear Lucy, Lucy, you have an appointment for Monday, May 30th, 2011. Your since your sincerely life. Um, so Lucy keeps receiving this appoint- appointment card and sweeping the envelope under the rug, literally. Instead, she's busied herself with a, with work, a job she doesn't love, helping out friends, fixing her car, feeding her cat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, she's stuck in a rut, and uh, she only knew Lucy knows the real truth. And one day, life shows up at her door in the form of a rather run-down man in an old suit who's determined to bring about change. Um, life follows Lucy everywhere and what she learns is that some of the choices she's made and stories she's told aren't what they seem. So, um, I don't know, sounds really interesting and like personifying life. Uh, it's just uh, interesting. I can't, I can't wait to see how she does that. Uh, sounds really great though. 
Next is Not Her Daughter by Rhea Fry. So, or Rhea Fry. And so I've liked Rhea Fry a lot in the past. And uh, this is an interesting story. So my husband and kids, like in the time right leading up to Christmas, I, I think I've talked about a couple times, uh, my husband took my kids to the library to pick out books for me um, as my Christmas gifts. And so he took them. But when they went, they dropped me off at the Dollar Tree because we, um, the kid, my kids made cards and crafts and things for the kids at Children's Mercy Hospital. Um, and so we were going to take that, but we wanted to get some little something or another from the Dollar Tree to put in their bags. And so uh, they dropped me off there. So it was madness because it was like the weekend before Christmas, madness. And um, so I'm waiting in line, waiting in line. They finally, they're, they're, they pull up outside and I'm like about to check out. And somebody had like set this at the checkout. And I was like, surely, like there's no tags on it, anything. And so I was like, surely that's not like, for sale and the dollar tree is now the dollar 25 tree if you didn't know that but i was like for a dollar 25 like is this actually a thing well sure enough they rung it up dollar 25 so um yeah i'm super excited emma townsend five years old gray eyes brown hair missing since june um emma's lonely living with her cruel mother and cr- clueless father emma retreats into her own own world um sarah walker su- successful entrepreneur broken-hearted kidnapper sarah's never seen a girl as precious as the gray-eyed child in a crowded airport terminal uh when a second chance encounter with emma presents itself sarah takes her far away from home but is it to rescue the little girl from her damaging mother um is kidnapping wrong if so and then amy townsend um, unhappy wife unfit mother unsure whether she wants her daughter back so three women uh, or three girls, you know, the child and two women who both want this child, maybe. So I don't know. This sounds this sounds almost like a Jody Pico book of like moral dilemmas, although taking a child is always wrong. But anyway, um, then we got The Night Swim by Megan Golden. This is one that, you know, I, I feel like I probably don't need to say much about it. But um, this ha- has made its round about a true crime po- podcaster. Um, and yeah, I don't really want to know a whole lot about it. I've actually, I think it's good on audio. Is that what I've heard people say? You guys tell me this. I did not get from book of the month, but, um, it is a book of the month copy. It is it better on audio physically. What do you think? Um, I just kind of want to know what the hype's about. And then the last two are my book of the month picks. So we have Winter in New York by Josie Silver. I have, I loved One Day in December. I've liked Josie Silver a lot. Um, So that's honestly why I got this and just the cover's cute and all of that. Um, But this is a young chef stumbles upon a secret family recipe that might lead her to the love and life she's been looking for. Um, So New York City, foodie, Josie Silver, really all I need to know. And then last is um, No One Can Know by Kate Alice Marshall. This, I think, comes out in January. So I think this was an early release. But um, this is about three sisters who I think have to go back to their parents' house who they, like, um, I think the parents maybe die. The three girls, own like, now own it and have to figure things out. And um, I have three girls. I think three girls' stories are interesting Palmer sisters, Emma, Juliet, and Daphne, left their home and never returned. Um, Emma's pregnant. Her husband loses her job. She has no option but re- to return um, there, and her and her sisters are estranged, and her parents were murdered there. So family secrets, drama, all the things. So that's everything that I'm unhauling and hauling for the month. I'm kind of feeling the itch to, like, because these are all my red books. There's another shelf you guys can't see. Um, and I'm kind of feeling, like, well, I think I've talked about it in another video. But my husband is planning to build, like, floor-to-ceiling, shel- like, shelves built in kind of things. And um, he, I think, is going to do that here in the next couple weeks, which would give me ample space. But if he doesn't do it in the next couple weeks, I think I'm going to have to do a brutal unhaul because – the clutter is, is stressing me out. Um, like those are all my nonfiction books up top, and it's just it's stressful. Uh, there's too much, too much, and so we'll see. I might be doing a brutal unhaul, so stay tuned until January. But if you're interested in any of the books I'm unhauling, they will be on my Pango Bookstore. Um, so check there. I and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.